This is Professor Melanie Hildebrandt. I'm going to work another example from Chapter 10. Um, this problem does not come directly from the textbook. But there are some problems, uh, at least one I think, in the MyEcon Lab study plan that is related to this. So in this problem, I'm going to show an example of calculating our HHI um, or the herfindahl hirschman index. Okay. And this is another method um, similar to the four firm concentration ratio that we can use to determine how competitive a market actually is. Um, to calculate the HHI, it's simply the sum of the squares of the market shares for each of the firms um, in our market. So in this example, there are four firms. Uh, firm one has 30% of the shares, as does firm two. Firms three and four each have 20% um, of the market shares. So we'll set up our equation. The HHI is 30 squared plus 30 squared plus 20 squared plus 20 squared. So it would be 2,600. Now we would typically say that markets where the HHI is between 1,000 and 1,800 are moderately concentrated. And anything with um, HHI in excess of 1,800, we would say is very concentrated. So not competitive, right? We only have four firms in this market. So hopefully common sense would tell you this is not a very um, competitive market, okay? Um, but the HHI really takes into account the relative size of our firms and the distribution of firms in our market. And as the HHI um, gets smaller, as it approaches zero, then the market would be adding more and more firms that would be relatively similar size to one another, okay? Um, if instead the HHI is increasing, then we know that the number of firms is probably decreasing and also the disparity in size between those firms is increasing. So we'd have some really big firms in the market and some much, much um, smaller firms. So this one does a really good job of showing um, those two different characteristics that we could have in an anti-competitive um, practices. So not having a lot of firms and having disparity in size um, between the firms. So for example, look what happens if firms three and four were to merge and they suddenly had 40% of the market shares. Well, if you calculate it out, our HHI would increase, okay, by another 800. And so again, we would see um, the competitiveness of this market would decrease further as we move from four firms to three, um, and as the one bar firm was then much larger, okay, than the others.